Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to see how we can build our own PyPI package and we are not going to deploy this package locally, we are going to deploy this package globally. Yes, we are going to deploy this package over open Python community so that it can be accessed by all and it can be used by anybody by installing that package by following a simple command pip install and your package name. So whatever function you are going to write inside this package is accessible for all. So it will going to add the value in their life, it will going to add the value in their code. And we are going to follow the simple and easy 10 step to build that package and to deploy that package over the open Python community. So don't worry, I will provide the link of this file in my description below. So if you want to download this file, you can follow that link. So let's get started. So here I have opened my VS code. And the first thing I'm going to do is to open a folder. So for this, I have already created a one folder on my desktop named as a code hex package. So this folder is blank as of now. Okay, so this folder is open. Now let's jump over our PDF file. So our first step is going to be like, we need to make sure that the Python and the pip module is present in our system. So for this, what we are going to do, just open the terminal and to check whether the python is present or not just take the version if the python is present then it will going to show the version of the python okay so the python is present in my system now the next thing i am going to check is about the pip module so for this i am going to use the command python hyphen m pip and hyphen hyphen version Okay, so the pip module is also present in my system. Okay, now let's move to the second step and now we are going to create our own package. So for this, inside this code hex package folder, I'll create another folder named as a code hex calculator. Okay, so we are going to build a, a simple calculator package. So this folder is now empty and I'm going to create one file within this folder and the name of the file is going to be in it double underscore dot pi. Okay, so the name of the file is very crucial because the name of the file will going to make this folder act as a package. Now I'm going to define some simple calculator functions like addition, multiplication, division and subtraction. So like for this division and definition and I'm going to add this function is going to add two numbers and there are two numbers a and b and it will going to return the sum of those two numbers similarly I'm going to create three more functions quickly okay so this function is going to do the multiplication of two numbers so it will going to return a multiplied by b this will going to do the division of two numbers so it will going to return a divided by b and this will going to do the subtraction of two numbers so it will going to return a minus b and let's save this file now let's, let's close this now our third step is going to create a license so each package which we are going to deploy over a open python community needs a license so we are going to create one file named as a license.txt okay. remember this file should be outside of this code hex calculator folder so it needs to be in the root folder and what will be the content of this file so to get the content of this file we are going to open this link which we are going to provide the content of license MIT and we are going to create this entire license content and we're going to paste inside this okay so let's change year to be 2021 and copyright is going to the author's name so in my case the author's name is going to be Arithmetic Maheshwari that is the my name let's save this one and close this now next jump over to next step so our next step is to create a setup.py file Okay, let's create one more file. So the name of the file is going to be setup.py and this file is also going to be in the root folder. 
so what will be the content of this setup.py file so we are already having the setup.py file contents written over here just copy this and paste it now we are going to talk about the setup tools in a bit so before that i'm going to talk about all these parameters so name is going to be the package name so in our case it is going to be code hex calculator and the version is going to be 0.1 as it is our first release the author name is going to be the author of this package so in our case the author name is going to be my name and author's email address it is asking so it is going to be my email address okay so gmail.com okay now the description so this one is going to be a very basic calculator so this is very basic calculator and the package is going to be setup tools dot find package and classic file is going to be same okay so our setup dot setup tools file is also completed so let's close this file now our next step is going to be test the package so for testing this package i'm going to first go inside the package folder which is the code hacks calculator and i'm going to open one interactive terminal to test that package so python fni and name of the file is going to be here, underscore underscore any dot pi underscore so okay now i'm going to test the function like a underscore numbers and I'm going to provide two numbers four and six okay, so expected output is 10 similarly I'm going to do subtract two numbers suppose and comma eight so the output is true okay so the package is working fine now our next step is going to install the required packages okay. so this all four packages are required in order to upload this file over the open python community so the first package is going to be the setup tools so setup tools is a package development process library de designed for creating and distributing the python packages so that's why we imported the setup tools inside the setup.py file because it will going to provide us the way to create one distributed package over open python community Second is the wheel. So this package helps us in creating a very simple package and .whl file which is installable over the any system by making the use of pip install and the package name. And twine, twine is another, uh, twine or twin, uh, whatever you want to pronounce it. It is another package which will provide us a secure and authenticated way to upload this package over the PyPI community. And this TQDM is another package which works internally for this 12 package. So to install this package one by one, let me just come outside of this. And the first thing I'm going to do is pip install. And suppose I want to install setup tools and wheel. So like this. And uh, when I press the enter, so as this package is already in my system, so it won't go into install. It will going to say, okay, the requirement is already satisfied. We just so the requirement is already satisfied for me because both the packages are present in my system now the next package is going to be when so pep install and twin so this package is also present in my system so it will say okay this requirement is also satisfied and the last is going to be pep install tqdm so this one is also present in my system Okay. but in your case you will going to see some installation process working for all these packages mm -hmm. and you executed this pip install command for every package now let's see our next step so our next step is going to be uh, now in our next step we are going to create one v file whl file for this we need to use uh, we, we need to make use of that setup.py file so let's just do this so let me just clean this command and okay so python and setup.py and i'm going to create one wheel file 
So as soon as this builds complete, we, we see that we have this dist package already created within that we have this dot whl file. Okay. Now what, what will be going to be our next step? So our next step is going to be, uh, we need to register ourselves over the Python organization. So like uh, the NPM, the Python also maintains one repository where we can upload every possible uh, packages which we want to accessible for all the persons across the world by by making uh, like we are going to upload this package for the open Python community by making the use of this repository. So let me just open this in my new tab and quickly register over it. Okay, so I'm already in my account. Okay, so I'll see uh, like I'm already registered. So I, I'll also uh, like uh, I'll also go through this process so that you can also familiar with the registration process so it's it is when it will going to be in the name of yourself so in my case it's my name my email address is going to be what is my email address and the username is going to be okay this one password is going to be this and password is going to be this so as I told you, I'm already registered over this community. So you can also register yourself by using this create account. And uh, then you need to verify your email address and that's it. You will also register in the same way. So I'll just go through this login option. And the password is going to be this. Okay. So, okay. I don't have any other packages uh, apart from this play with numbers packages in my uh, repository now our next step is going to upload this package so for this we need to follow this command twin, uh, twin upload and this one so let's quickly write this command twin upload and we want to upload this over the repository so i need to give repository iphone url and the url is going to be https upload dot pi dot org slash legacy okay slash legacy and then slash and the folder name is going to be this dist one because it contains our build file and then stuff So it's asking for the username, so username is going to be this and it is asking for the password, so password is going to be this. And as soon as you provide your username and password, it will going to upload this, upload your package over the open python community. Now if I see this and I just refresh this one, so we can see that this package is released 20 seconds ago and it is present in this code hex calculator name. Now let's test this, now let's, let's test this if I can install it or not so to test this uh, whether I can install it or not what I need to do is uh, suppose uh, I'm inside let me just go to any other any other uh, environment so we and command palette and suppose I'm going to work inside the path and interpreter and I'm going to work inside the test environment now and let me just open this terminal inside the test environment. Don't worry, you don't need to follow this step. But as of now, to install this package in a separate virtual environment, that's why I'm just using this one. And if I can do pip install, and uh, the package name is going to be code hex calc, then not the code hex calc, it should be code hex calculator. So it will going to so error okay now it should be called hex calculator so let me just clean it and pip install code hex calculator then okay it is going to install our package inside this virtual environment and if i want to use this package directly then python okay and i'm going to import that code hex calculator as calc okay. now calc dot suppose add underscore numbers and I'm going to provide 7 comma 8 so okay and calc dot 
division of two numbers sorry not like this division of two numbers like 15 divided by 3 so there might be I'm making some mistake okay the name is going to be like this so it is get uh, we are getting 5.0 and if I can go like help dot multiplication of two numbers then two and four then it is giving us egg let me just exit this and do this okay so I, I i just tested it in the virtual environment similarly i can test i can show you by testing in other other environments so it is not a virtual environment it's the environment of my system so here also i can make the use of this package pip install and code hex calculator okay so that package is successfully installed now if i want to use that package here in that environment also then also i can make use of so import code hex calculator as cal okay i'm making import code hex calculator as calc and calc dot suppose uh, division of two numbers i'm going to perform the same here and it will going to be eight divided by four so it is we are getting two okay so it is working fine because this package is globally available so if in your system also if you uh, if you want to install this package then you, you just need to follow this command so in the same way you can upload your own package over the python community so be a contributor not just a consumer and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe it and if you found this video useful then don't forget to share it and hit that like button. Thank you.